Schemes like this are becoming commonplace in U.S. cities where cellular is available today. 1973. Martin Cooper, a senior engineer at Motorola, made history when he called engineer Joel Engel, head of AT&T's rival project, and informed him that he was speaking from a mobile phone. The call was made with the prototype of Motorola's Dynatac model, which was released 10 years later. 1982. Nokia-produced Mobira Senator was widely considered the first true mobile phone available to consumers. This phone weighs 10 kilograms. Pretty ironic to call it a mobile phone, right? This pioneering mobile phone used a network called Nordic Mobile Telephony Standard, part of the first generation 1G of wireless cellular technology. 1983. In 1983, Motorola launched the first-ever handheld mobile phone with the Dynatac 8000X. Contrary to the Senator, the Dynatac model weighed over a kilogram. However, it took more than 10 hours to charge and offered only 30 minutes of battery when fully charged. 1992 In 1992, Nokia launched its 1011 model, the first mobile phone that could be used anywhere in the world. This was thanks to its ability to access the Global System for Mobile Communication Network often referred to as the second generation or 2G of wireless cellular technology. This phone weighed just under 500 grams and featured a monochrome LCD screen and an extendable antenna. 1992 also marked the year that the first ever text message was sent. Neil Papworth, a test engineer for Sema Group, sent the first text message to a mobile phone on December 3, 1992. The message simply read, Merry Christmas. 1994. IBM's Simon Personal Communicator is widely considered the world's first smartphone. The IBM Simon featured a touchscreen display and countless pre-installed apps such as an address book, calculator, calendar, digital notepad, and world clock. This model was only on the market for six months, but IBM still managed to sell 50,000 units. 1996. The Nokia 9000 Communicator featured a fully QWERTY keyboard, as well as being one of the first phones with the ability to send and receive emails and fax via its GSM modem. In the same year, the very first clamshell phone, often described as the flip phone, was released. It weighed just 88 grams and was small enough to fit in a pocket, although it was marketed as a wearable phone due to its ability to clip into items of clothing with the addition of a custom back. 1997 Simeon's launched its S10 model in 1997 with the first mobile phone with a full-color screen. It displayed up to six lines of information in four different colors, white, red, blue, and green. It also came with several basic apps, such as an alarm, a phone book, and even a voice note recorder. It weighed just under 200 grams and featured an antenna. Did you know that mobile phones are dirtier than toilet handles? A used mobile picks up around 18 more types of bacteria than a toilet. So, remember to clean your mobile phone regularly and safely. 1999 In 1999, Nokia introduced its 7110 model. This phone featured a sliding cover over its keyboard, which allowed users to easily accept and end calls. It was also one of the very first phones to offer mobile internet access via its revolutionary WAP browser. Although this only allowed access to websites that had been optimized for WAP, it was also one of the first phones with the ability to download custom ringtones. 2000. Japanese tech company Sharp released the Sharp JSH04 under the J Phone brand in November 2000. This model was only available in Japan. However, it was a real game changer, as it's the very first mobile phone to feature an integrated digital camera, even if it was only 0.11 megapixels. Also in 2000, Nokia's 3310, arguably the most iconic Nokia model of all time, was released. It featured screensavers, customizable ringtones, and the option to add a welcome message. It was famous for its long battery life and sturdy design. This was also the phone that popularized the Snake 2 mobile game. 2003. The BlackBerry 6210 was the first BlackBerry to offer integrated phone functionality. This was the first phone to feature BlackBerry Messenger, BlackBerry's widely popular instant messaging service that had well over 150 million users at its peak. It was also in 2003 that the 3G network standard began to be adopted worldwide. The network was built to encourage faster data speeds on mobile technology. 2004 Released in the latter part of 2004, Motorola's Razer V3 claimed the title of the best-selling clamshell phone of all time. Famous for its remarkably slim design, the phone also featured 3G connectivity, a VGA camera, video recording, Bluetooth, WAP internet browsing, and a variety of downloadable MP3 ringtones. 2005 in 2005, Sony partnered with Ericsson to release the first mobile phone under the Walkman brand. 
The W800 was one of the very first phones on the market to prioritize music. Its features included a 2 megapixel camera with video recording, Bluetooth infrared connectivity, downloadable games, MP3 ringtones and wallpapers, a WAP browser, and a 3G network connection. It also featured 34 megabytes of internal memory, with the option to add up to 2 gigabytes via a memory card. 2007 Nokia launched its N95 model in March 2007. It has 160 megabytes of internal memory, with the option to add up to 8 gigabytes on a micro SD card, as well as a set of dedicated media controls for watching films and listening to music. One significant feature of this phone was its 5 megapixel camera, featuring autofocus, flash, and even the ability to change ISO, white balance, and contrast. It also featured a complete office suite, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, voice commands, FM radio, a browser that supports flash, and a second front-facing camera for video calls. The now very famous iPhone was first launched in 2007. Although this wasn't the first touchscreen phone on the market, it came at a time when the mobile phone industry was predominantly made up of phones with physical keyboards, small screens, and clunky designs. Apple revolutionized the smartphone industry with the launch of its first-generation iPhone, with many experts noting this as the most significant moment in smartphone history. Did you know that the fear of being without your phone is real? This phenomenon is called nomophobia. The term nomophobia, or no mobile phone phobia, is used to describe a physical condition when people have a fear of being detached from mobile phone connectivity. 2008 In 2008, Android launched Google Play Store, then Android Market, although it didn't offer support for paid apps until the next year. In every sense, 2008 marked the start of the ongoing Apple versus Android debate. 2010 Samsung launched the very first Galaxy S in June 2010. This model has 16 gigabytes of storage, a 1 gigahertz ARM Hummingbird processor, an AMOLED touchscreen, a 5 megapixel camera, and a 0.3 megapixel front camera. It was a very strong attempt at competing with Apple's popular iPhone series. 2012 The Samsung Galaxy S3 was launched in 2012. The phone introduced several new features to the Galaxy S line, including eye tracking capabilities, support for wireless charging, and support for 4G networks. 2013 Apple launched iPhone 5S in 2013, which allowed users to unlock their phones with their fingerprints. It also featured an improved 64-bit A7 processor and the first use of Apple's control center on an iPhone. The Nokia Lumia 1020 was also released in 2013. With a 41-megapixel camera, this phone has been described as able to replace the digital camera and as a compact camera with some phone features tacked onto it. It runs on Windows Phone 8 operating system and has received several software and firmware updates over the years, including the Lumia Black update, which allows it to capture raw image files. 2015 The Galaxy S6 Edge boasted a truly unique curved edge-to-edge -edge screen. It also features an incredible battery, offering 4 hours of usage out of a 10-minute charge. It also offered wireless charging, a 16-megapixel camera, and a Quad HD Super AMOLED display. Google's Huawei Nexus 6P model was one of the most popular phones of 2015. This model has a 12.3 megapixel camera, 4K video recording, and 240 frames per second slow motion video, a 5.7 inch AMOLED display, and an aluminum shell. Did you know that 48.72% of the total population on Earth owns a smartphone? With around 7.8 billion people in the world, there are 3.8 billion smartphone users worldwide. Another interesting fact is that despite the smartphone user base being 3.8 billion users, the total mobile phone user base is 5.22 billion. 2017 Remember Nokia's 3310 which was released in 2000? It was so popular that Nokia released a revamped smartphone version in 2017 following the company's acquisition by Microsoft. In the same year, Samsung released the Galaxy S8 and S8 Plus. The models featured a full-screen Infinity display, support for wireless charging, a 12-megapixel camera with an f1.7 lens, and full-proof security features, including a fingerprint scanner, iris scanner, and face scanner. Also in 2017, Apple launched the iPhone X, the first iPhone with a full-screen display. Its main features included the lack of any on-screen buttons, support for wireless charging, a 5.8-inch AMOLED display with True Tone, a dual 12-megapixel camera, and Face ID. 
2018. Chinese manufacturer Ulifon launched the Power 5 in 2018, incorporating a 13,000 mAh battery, the largest ever seen in a mobile phone, over four times greater than Apple's flagship, the iPhone XS Max released in the same year, 2019. In 2019, the fifth generation network was launched, and so were the first 5G phones. 2019 also marked the launch of the Xiaomi Mi Note 10 which was the first smartphone to feature a 108 megapixel camera. 2020, 5G phones are taking over in 2020. Folding display phones were introduced this year. The Samsung Galaxy Flip Z 5G has shown impressive features. 2020 has also been marked by the improvements in battery life and charging speeds. More and more phones feature fast charging. Today, today smartphones have significantly improved compared to earlier models. Everything is more advanced. Newer models feature more memory and allow users to use multiple applications at the same time. Cameras are HD and music and video streaming are made easy. Users' mobile gaming experience has improved as well, with improved specs and battery life. Professional dual-lens cameras are now becoming standard on high-end smartphones, while the handsets themselves are becoming more and more durable, with impressive waterproofing and tough Gorilla Glass screens. Subscribe if you love evolution videos as much as we do.